Welcome to Elizabeth and to the Carter County Covered Bridge Festival. We are so happy tonight to present to you a member of the Grand Ole Opry, a member of the Country Music Association, a member of the Gospel Music Association. Let's give a Carter County welcome to Ricky Skaggs and Kentucky Thunder.
appreciate that. All right, here's the Stanley Brothers song. Ralph and Carter, the best there ever was. Part of their old mountain, pile on some stanky mountain stuff. It's just the best. I love it. Still carry it on. On a lonesome night.
This band, Kentucky Thunder. How about it for them? Huh? They're just amazing. I'm glad they hired me before they were born. Everybody okay? Thank you for having us up here. Some of the king's Englishmen, yes, they did. They whipped them bad. And, uh, so my ancestors were still there. But I've always loved this part of East Tennessee. Up there. A lot of history. Okay, we will do another Stanley Brothers song. Um, it just happened for Come we love this one. They didn't write this one. They wrote a lot of the songs. Most, most all the songs that they did, they wrote. But uh, you may have heard a group sing this song, a, a gospel family group would sing it. And, uh, they liked what they heard, so they, when they got back home off the road, they, they worked up their version of it, their version of it. They had Ralph. Jump in and start the chorus and uh, that high ones and stuff that he brings in the world. And, uh, so it uh, just kind of changed the song and everybody everybody wanted to sing it after that. So uh, bring him writer Albert Grumman, uh, Logan's team. So this was a lot of mailbox money. <laughs> and, uh, we're glad he wrote it because it's, uh, it's pretty good. Great right stranger.
not use a second. <laughs> that's what you can Well, if they dance on this one, they're allowed to think about it. <laughs> about the second time. I want to introduce you to our banjo player now. He's off the tune. No. The tune of years. Well, this fella is from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Been with him eight years and just did a great job on the banjo. We're proud to have him. He's going to do a tune. Uh, from our old friend J.D. Crow. He wrote this tune many years ago and recorded it. And uh, Russ is a big fan of J.D. This is Russell Carson right here on the banjo. Tear it up, Russ, when you get a second. Tune. Out to our fiddle player. He's amazing and so proud to have him back with us. Uh, he's uh, from the little town Salem, National Park, Franklin, Tennessee. And, uh, yeah. 
Okay, back, uh, speaking of country, this is a segue to the country. There was a guy that looked a lot, well, he was a younger version of me. He was Thank you, folks. And then we did. 
soldier's joy and one called Boston Boy. There's a ball with Jimmy Lee, and me that's where I began. Let me in and bouncing down on the hill and the road to town. Take a fiddle over the town to bring you head up, you hear it sing.
Here's a song that uh, was a number one country hit for me. Uh, this was uh, a song from a bluegrass band named Don Reno and Red Smiley. I think some of you know that. Uh, they had a weekly television show of Rono, Virginia, back in the early 60s. And uh, see a few of those shows later. I mean, just, you know, anyway, uh, Hope you like it. I think, uh, well, I know some of you bought the record and helped me. Uh, I think I'm in the schedule fire. I really appreciate that. Here's I wouldn't change it if I could. <laughs>
harmony singer, multi instrumentalist. I can do it all. And uh, I'm just going to give you a song here that, from a record that he did years ago. And, uh, I'll tell you how he called it, what he did, and uh, where he did it. And, uh, he's from Huntsville, Alabama. Yes, he is. And we love him dearly. He's our dear brother. Dennis Parker. Nice hand for Dennis right here. Hey, man. I, I did a project a while back. It's called Songs Under the Air Conditioning Unit. It's autobiographical. I recorded it at my apartment where I still live today. They're in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, I recorded it on my couch under my air conditioner. And uh, I know it sounds funny, but it was a, uh, it was a place that I, 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 I still hold very, very deep. It's because uh, uh, this, this January, coming up this January, I'm going to be celebrating Seven years of sobriety. I got, I got sober, and uh, I, always, you know, it, it feels good for people to clap for you uh, for for doing the right thing. But really, I had little to nothing to do with it. All I did was really give it up. I just, I gave up, and I, I, I found, I found something I never thought I needed, and uh, it became the most important thing in my life. It was grace. I found grace. I had, I had even before, uh, even before I got clean, I, I had, I had a lot of people that came into my life. Well, one, one, one person in particular, her name was Cindy, and uh, I still remember. Uh, I, I, I was a, a guy that was just habitually, I just, I couldn't stop what I was doing. I, I really saw no hope in, in, in life. I felt like everything that was good was behind me. I didn't have any future. And I think a lot of addicts that, that rely on alcohol, or prescription drugs, or whatever, that, that have that kind of feeling. They feel like there's, there's no future. That's where I was. And uh, man, I'm just thankful for a big old God that saw past that and put some people in my life. And one of them was a girl named Cindy. And, and uh, I, I was, you know, I got five DUIs. And the last time I was incarcerated on a jailhouse phone, I, I, called, I called this girl up. And, and uh, she told me what I didn't expect to hear. I really wanted somebody to feel sorry for me. And really what she did tell me was that she told me that God loved me and had a plan for my life. And that, that sounds real simple. It sound, but I need sympathy. And uh, I, you know, I, I have found that God is that big. That he, he loved me not when I was at my best, but when I was at my worst. And uh, I, I found that. And I gave my life to it. And uh, I, I served it. That's all I, I know to do. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to tell you about it because uh, I do believe that uh, that's the answer that we all have. I don't care. We're all addicted to something. Uh, we're all looking for peace and we're all looking for happiness. And most of us are looking in the wrong, wrong places. And uh, I believe that our answer to happiness is really finding uh, the spirit. God is waiting for you to be That absolutely gives us everything we need. The air that we breathe, you know, the health that we have, everything that we have comes from you. You get everything you need like that. I so believe in you. So, uh, and, uh, you know, the beautiful, beautiful thing that's happened also in my life in sobriety, I've, I've, I've gotten a lot of restoration to a lot of good uh, things that I've done in my past, I've been able to start cleaning up some of that mess. And this weekend has been a real special day because I got to take my first road trip with my son. And uh, we went off to North Carolina. You know, I played last night. This is the first time I've been and He went with me. And that's a, a relationship that's being restored. I haven't seen Sam in 12 years. God, it's all fit to me. Bring that relationship back to me, and I, I'm so grateful for the time that I've got to share with him. And that I'm looking for it. I'm looking so forward to the future. But also, this this song I want to do for you is uh, is, is it talks about a restoration of, of my family, with my dad. I, I had a I had a really fractured relationship with my dad also, and uh, that that got restored before he passed away. And this is one of his favorite songs. That he uses.
He didn't send it to God yet. He's a horrible son. Thank you. 
sing you a song that uh, you know, a good friend of mine, Gordon Kennedy, wrote. Gordon is a great, one of the best songwriters in, in the country. 
wrote Change the World for Eric Clapton, which was a big, big record. And uh, anyway, we got together and wrote this one. It's about the two thieves on the cross. And, uh, I don't think any one of us had ever heard a song about the two thieves on the cross. But uh, when we got done writing it, we, we said to each other, wow, this is a, it's like all humanity is covered in this song. Because really, or like the thieves on the cross, we're either going to reject Jesus, mock him, reject him, or we're going to say, Lord, remember me when you come into the kingdom. And uh, that's, that was the smart thing to do. The diamond made, made a lot of mistakes, but he didn't make one there. And, uh, anyway, this is called One or the Other.
y'all milk before you came. Got some mad cows you can hold. Well, I did a record a few years ago with Gordon, uh, at Mosaic. And you have a mosaic up there. I think we might have some that's in there. It's a really great record. It's an all gospel record, but it doesn't sound gospel. It doesn't sound bluegrass. It doesn't sound country. It certainly doesn't sound like southern gospel or anything like that. It's just kind of got a different sound to it, but it's a really great lyrics. Uh, Gordon wrote, uh, wrote or co wrote every song on it. He's a great writer. And uh, anyway, uh, I love this song because it talks about, you know, Jesus said, I'm the good shepherd, and my sheep, they hear my voice, and they follow me, and they, they won't follow the stranger. And, uh, I'm telling you, these days, I'm listening to the shepherd's voice more and more all the time because his news is good news. And uh, you won't get tripped up listening to him. Thorns on his brow, his 
eyes on the crown All of God's daughters and sons are standing on Him Cursing at Him Forgive them for what they have done You can't use Him Abuse Him Walk and abuse Him Tell Him about the 30 pieces Slay him, slay him, do the death which made him, but you can't shame.
the sky, and that's where it'll be. Don't forget, fall afternoon, we got gospel music for you, and at 4 o'clock, it's the fantastic Isaac here tomorrow, and it's all free, folks. Be here, be safe, enjoy the fireworks. Thank you.